<laughs> He's come to say bye. Good morning guys, it's username K. Welcome back to the first vlog in a little series of the NQNC 500 and not quite North Coast 500. Now the sun is shining, it's nice and dry. Fingers crossed, oh, <laughs> fingers crossed that it stays like that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just crack on, get on the bikes, blast up there and I will update you when we're actually getting up the country towards Scotland because motorway miles is just gonna be boring to vlog. So we'll catch up when we're actually in Scotland. Bye. Right, so we've just arrived at Loch Lomond and we're currently in the process of ordering a panini and a tea just to fill our bellies. We were on the road at 20 past six and we've just got here now. Let me just check what the time is, one second. And the time's 10 o'clock now. So we've made good progress. We've got another four hours and 42 minutes to go before we're at Gairlock, our destination further up north. So yeah, I will keep you guys posted. Have a nice brew. Pop's given a jump. Well guys, we've just had a nice stop off at Ben and Carrie's cafe, I wanna say. And now we are heading to Fort William. Wow. Look at that. Oh, hello. Oh, these roads are beautiful around this lot. Oh, the sound of the Akrapovich on this is gorge. So just to give you guys an idea, we've just stopped off at Loch Lomond, Lomond, don't know how you pronounce it. This vlog is going to be full of mispronunciations. The weather gods thus far are looking down on us and it's currently showing 18 degrees on the dash. Can't complain. Lovely tight bend. The GS will eat this for breakfast. Oh, this is lovely. Wow, this favours the Alps, this. I feel like I could literally be on my way to the Stelvio right now. The road's just before it. Oh, we're coming up to a bridge. Look at that. So for this trip, we're rocking this setup. We both have the nav sixes mike is riding the workhorse that has got bmw vario panniers on the side and a jivy trekker top box on the top which he's stolen from username dad i'm so grateful that i got lent a gs to do this on because we're just riding around in absolute comfort oh that's so pretty sterling Give him a wave. Ramba. Ah, nice to see the Kitimas up here, the KTMs. So when I... Is a no from me? Is a no? weird thing oh 
that's tight. <laughs> now I'm getting Isle of Man vibes. Oh, that's a lovely white horse on its own. If you just stuck a horn on its head, it could have been a unicorn. Hmm, let the slow riding commence. Thankfully, I am the boss of slow riding. It does not faze me. Stopping, however, does. I'll make it work. Oh, these are so nice. I've noticed like then we had to do some really slow speeds the 1250 is just it's like stiffer steering on my 1200 I feel like when you're going really slow you kind of get like a little low speed weave going on with your bars This is like the Peak District on steroids. Glencoe, no we haven't just got here, we've been on it, we're near the end of it, the roads are amazing, please. Literally awesome. Right, after a few GoPro dramas, oh, the beautiful roads through Glencoe. We literally set off after I popped that sticker on the sign, pressed it, GoPro would not record. Drama. Literally, those roads were some of the more scenic, flowy roads as well. So I'm sorry that I can't share those with you. Just wouldn't switch on. 
and then when we get to a little petrol station and have a look it's got 84 percent battery what you doing so we're leaving fort william now we've just typed in gerlock hotel into the sat nav it's three minutes past one now and it says we'll get there at 20 past three honestly how people say oh man it's a mighty long day that it's not been bad at all oh the sun is shining it's 23 degrees i was in the service station before i had sweat dripping down my arm sweat dripping down my arm wow honestly i've never experienced such friendly riders and drivers like you go to do an overtake they indicate they move right over like they do in germany the riders everyone gives you a nod or a wave i've never known so many people wave i thought that was just a weird thing that i did but no i'm not alone in scotland oh i've just taken the thermal liner out of the oxford jacket i've opened up all the vents i'm feeling bright and breezy We've passed that man once already and he was in a lay-by back then. So we've stopped off at Fort William. I've got myself a nice little tuna mayo, which is probably currently boiling in that black top box in front. Mike got himself a little ham salad. And we're ready for a, a little stop in a nice scenic lay-by somewhere, I think. Welcome to... I can't even attempt that. Oh, look at this lovely bend. Wang it in. Hello! Viewpoint, 300 yards. Oh, it's the Commando Memorial. My colleague Martin told me about that. That is epic. The scenery is gorgeous. Stronaba. Stronaba. Yeah, people said, wow, that is a long route to do in one day, but the weather has been on our side perfect the traffic has been a little bad but these roads are not bad at all the scenery is stunning the bikes are perfect so yeah i can't say that it's been too much of a chore Is a no from me, but now we say yeah. deliver I can't lie I'm getting full Alp vibes right now I'm getting black forest vibes bah. Bah. I'm glad I've got my custom fit guard earplugs in because this Acra is loud 
think the loudest exhaust I've ever heard on a GS is when um, Schaff, the German vlogger, he put an SC project exhaust on a GS and did some like raw sound footage again like in the Alps oh my god it sounded amazing but that must have given him a headache after a little bit oh someone's having a fire there's a gorgeous smell of firewood in the air it's a lovely bridge wow that is a garden oh man they are living the dream it's not as daunting on a full height GS as I thought it was going to be. Now when we tackle the insane passes, which I think we're going to do tomorrow, I might have a different opinion. But the bike's got hill hold, it's fantastic. Me and Mike took a wrong turn before and it was really tight, really narrow, like how the hell have we ended up here? And the bike was pointing downwards and it had the hill hold on. No, none of us were touching the brake and it was just chilling stationary. Not rolling, not moving, not falling. It's just there, like it had a handbrake on. And I just managed to throw my leg over it without worrying about anything, fired it up and went. I was like, hey presto. two decks still water calm and serene what an absolute dream south wagon wagon what Mike's got a GS, so I might well go off road. Gotta love his philosophy. Two hours to go. Zwei Stunden. I feel like the GS has the perfect amount of power for the roads. Like these roads, it can absolutely tramp along. In Vagari. Signs for the Isle of Skye. We took a detour. To paraphrase Fleetwood Mac, we can go our own way. Go our own way. I think Mike thinks he's on a Harley Davidson with his feet forward. Gosh, this road's a rotten surface. Ah, ah. Gross. So Mike did an 11 hour day to pick this bike up. The two choices it could have had, it could have had bridge stones on it or it could have had Michelin Anarchy's on it and it had bridge stones and I'm just so chuffed because out of the two that come standard on the GS the bridge stones are my favourite a lot of you guys have been asking for a review on the Dunlop Mutants now obviously Mike's putting more miles on it this holiday than I am in fact I'm not putting any miles on it I asked Mike what he thought of them and he thinks they're brilliant and Mike is the most brutally honest individual I have ever met Oh, a bit of light off-roading Oh right. Yeah, I'm good, thank you Are you alright? Nice roads them aren't they? Bloody hell. So good. 
Oh, I made a mistake. What? I put my gloves in the sun. Let's go, oh, let's go cowboy. had a nice little sandwich stop a nice little drink break feeling rehydrated feeling good and now we're back on track for the hotel man the views something else I feel like I should be tired but I don't feel bad at all So it's now 2 o'clock and we've been riding pretty much since just after 6, 20 past 6 
Dear risk, slow down. Dear risk, slow down. to somebody that hits a deer it's not pretty you're subjected to a life of deer puns and I'm just not ready for that you know We've clocked up 430 miles today. The stretch from Manchester to Gerlock wasn't as bad as a few people had made me think. They were like, oh, you're gonna have a numb ass. No, didn't, it was fine. We arrived in one piece. We're in the Gerlock Hotel, which is absolutely stunning. And the scenery is just out of this world. So we have settled in, we've got our stuff out the panniers and we are literally going to have dinner at 7 o'clock and now we're going to go for a little walk on the beach. So yeah, thanks for watching and stay tuned for day two. No way. So this is the guy that we've literally waved at like four times today because we've just crossed paths four times and he's literally staying at the same hotel. We must have done 200 miles. 200 miles? Mm, something like that. 150 miles we've seen him. Mental. Look at that, what a beast. Yeah, hopefully we'll see him and say hi. If you watch this video, it was nice to wave to you a lot of times today. 